الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد حبت في الله I wanted to talk about something very important for us all because we live in a day and age of a lot of fitna and we live in a day age where in an age where there's the revival of the khawarij a revival of the creed of takfir and this is to declare a muslim falsely or accuse a muslim falsely of disbelief excommunicating a believer from the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with that we'll find that throughout history that the khawarij were present and they made lawful spilling the blood of the believers the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said al khawarij kilab an nar the khawarij are the dogs of the hellfire that does not mean that there is no such thing as takfir in islam that there are of course ways you enter islam there's a way to enter islam embracing islam declaring the shahada and believing in it and testifying to it and being truthful and all the other conditions with regards to being to accepting islam and likewise one can leave the faith of islam wa iyadan billah min dhalika from the wisdom of ibn al-qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala we we'll hear or as he said qala ibn al-qayyim fa min kaba'ir takfiru man lam yukaffaruhu allah wa rasuluhu he said from the major sins is decreeing someone to be a disbeliever who Allah and his messenger did not declare meaning by not using the conditions <clears throat> either that you have a nas that they disbelieve for example the Jews and the Christians are not believers in Islam they're not muslim they're kufar and this is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions alladhina kafaru min ahli kitab walladhina kafaru min ahli kitab wal mushrikeen fi nar jahannam those who disbelieve from amongst the Jews and the Christians are in the hellfire forever so that is someone who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes takfir of and the pagans that we have a nas for we have a text the remaining category of those who disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who we don't have a text for necessarily as far as ma'ayyin as far as specific are those who fit the criterion in which they illustrate that they disbelieve in the religion of Islam and getting back to the main point of this discussion is i wanted to mention a hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which shows us the seriousness of making takfir of people and this is why we do not support people like daesh or isil or whatever you want to call them uh or al qaeda or all the other groups boko haram al shabab and all these other groups that are affiliated with them and we regard them as takfirin as people who declare others make the the blood of their muslim brothers lawful and with that you find that is almost always the case that the takfiris don't stop with that as the original khawarij didn't stop with just making takfir then that takfir for them was a license to kill a license to terrorize a license to destroy and this is what islam prohibits us from عن ابي ذر رضي الله تعالى عنه انه سمع النبي صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم يقول لا يرمي رجل رجلا بالفسوق ولا يرميه بالكفر الا ارتد عليه ان لم يكن صاحب كذلك رواه بخاري ومسلم وفي لف المسلم ومن داء رجلا بالكفر أو قال عدو الله وليس كذلك إلا حار عليه متفق عليه. أحببت في الله in the first hadith uh, in the the narration that was in uh, Bukhari. 
the hadith of Abi Dhar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a man should not call another man or say that he is a fasik, meaning that he is a wicked sinner. So we have to be careful with that because it's so easy. And I know with living here in Saudi Arabia and having a lot of students that are so easy with their tongue that it becomes so common. I hear them speaking in Arabic, calling one another fasics, calling one another, uh, make it, cursing one another, and saying the most evilest things as a joke in a light manner. But this is not a light manner, as we'll see from this hadith. So the Prophet Sallallahu said, Do not, a man should not call another man a wicked sinner. And he should not call him or accuse him with disbelief. Except that it comes, it descends upon one of them. If, or, or that it will return to him if his partner is like, is not like that. Letting us know that if someone falsely accuses someone of takfir, you know, of being a disbeliever, which is serious, or falsely accuses someone of being a fasic, a wicked sinner, that this wasp, this description, falls upon them. And I was just reading a, a very fantastic benefit regarding, regarding this hadith from Imam bin Uthaymin, rahimahullah ta'ala. And he was saying that this is from Bab al-Wa'id. If I recall, it was from Bin Uthaymin. I read it this morning. And he said it was from the Bab of Wa'id, meaning it was from the Bab of the threat of punishment. And he mentioned uh, as evidence from the... the or actually, it wasn't Bin Uthaymin. It was our Sheikh Abu Salah al-Afghani, uh, uh, Tahir, uh, 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 Muhammad uh, uh, Tahir one of the mashaykh in Kuwait and it was in his book on takfir and he mentioned the statements of Imam Anawawi regarding this issue which was very in depth showing us that the ulama some of them they say that an Imam Anawawi if I recall was one of them who says that this is from the Bab Wa'id this is from the threat of punishment meaning that this does not in his discussion that this does not mean that the person who made this accusation is necessarily a disbeliever but yet it is from the threat of punishment letting us know how serious of a sin it is that is from the major sins and this is what Ibn Al-Qayyim uh, concurs as we mentioned in the first uh, statement of Ibn Al-Qayyim and in another narration in Sahih Muslim the Prophet Sallallahu said, whoever calls uh, or accuses a man with disbelief or that he is the enemy of Allah and he is not like this, then this will return to him. And they differ over the mean of Hara Alayhi. And this is just some of the fawa'id of knowing the seriousness of the creed of takfir and why Ahlul Sunnah is so vigilant uh, with freeing himself from this creed and fighting those who are adherents to this creed and minhaj, which is a false creed and minhaj. And why it is so serious, because the Prophet ﷺ said, Al Khawarij, Kilab and Nar, the Khawarij are the dogs of the hellfire. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the hellfire.